Hi everyone, so this video is going to be dedicated to Grishko and why dancers often say who maybe dancers who haven't tried the brand or dancers that may have had a bad experience with um, a Grishko point shoe not fitting correctly. The thing that people most say who maybe don't like Grishko for some reason or another, the main reason is they will say that Grishko point shoes are too hard. Now I completely understand, this is exactly how I felt when I first tried a Grishko on and the reason, the most common reason why dancers feel that way is because they quite often haven't had a successful Grishko fitting, haven't been in the right, the right Grishko model for them or they simply haven't been told about the variety of models and why a Grishko point shoe is, some, is sometimes harder than other brands. Now I've worn a variety of point shoe brands and yes some are softer but the thing is you want to remember here that a point shoe that is um, harder in the box or in the shank is th that is a good thing it's going to last you longer and it's going to support you better. If you get a point shoe and you fill the box and it feels quite soft and squishy before you've even actually worn it and it's new that basically means the box is going to die faster and it's not going to support you correctly or as long as a point shoe with a nice solid box to start with will do. Now people say oh but the, the shanks in Grishko's are so hard. Let me tell you that there are different shanks in um, available in Grishko point shoes and I just want to run through a few factors. The most common Grishko model that people um, have been fitted in is the 2007 model. The 2007 does have um, quite a strong shank to start with, even in a medium, but this is the thing. Most people are told, they aren't even told to be honest, they aren't educated on the fact that there are many different types of Grishko shank and the fact they can get a special order. Grishko shanks typically start with soft and um, super soft soft, medium, hard and super hard but you can also have the option to have a three quartered shank and there's also a shank called Proflex which again comes in medium and hard. Proflex shanks um, typically in the 2007 model feel very soft and flexible. They're generally shanks that are more suited to a dancer that has um, either, a, like you know, if they're a new dancer and they want a shank that's easier to work with that the teacher's okay with them wearing or it can be also great for people that want a stage ready shoe and the shank's going to break in quickly because it does feel like a broken in shank basically. Or perhaps a dancer just prefers a softer shank. Proflex hard in the 2007 feels a little bit tougher but what you need to remember is Proflex in say um, a foite feels a bit stronger and it feels similar to the shank in a Triumph point shoe in my opinion. So you want to make sure that you know before you um, decide you don't want to try Grishko, that you actually know the options and your fitter goes through the varieties available. The thing that people um, often don't, don't like as well is they often say they can't get the demi point in the Grishko shoe. This could be down to the fact that you've perhaps chosen a model um, that hasn't got the easy roll through. And now as far as I'm aware, you can um, ask your fitters to get the easy roll through. Here in the UK, it actually comes as standard. So easy roll through basically means that in the demi point area of the point shoe, it's easier to roll through that and to achieve demi point and it breaks in correctly just where it should. You want to ensure that you're in the right shank as well because some dancers are putting um, a Grishko shank that's too hard for them and as a result of that, they cannot break it in um, and also their arch maybe isn't strong enough, maybe they haven't got the strength from the foot in general. So, you know, a lot, a lot of people say, oh, Grishkos are so hard, but they, they are a handmade shoe, they're manufactured in Russia, and also they support and grip the foot where it should be. They fit really snug. And I know that, you know, I mean, for me personally, when I first tried a Grishko, I really liked it, but I wasn't completely sold. And the reason why was was because I never knew about all the options. I never knew there was a variety of models. I didn't know you can get different shanks. I never knew that you could have a special order where you can change a variety of 
things about the shoes such as the vamp height, vamp shape, side quarters, heel, you know, the, the combinations are basically endless. And if you work with the right fitter, then you can find the perfect shoe for you. I just wanted to mention this video basically because, I mean, I wanted to make it because I wanted to, you know, inform people of, of why they think um, a Grishko shoe is too hard. Um, you know, the, the shank, oh, also the box, I must, I must tell you this, the box comes in different, in different types. So you may find, for example, in the 2007, the box is quite strong. Um, it's all to do with the glues that are used. In the Triumph, for example, there's a different paste that is used in the box and a different kind of glue, so it feels more elastic. Um, the way I can describe it is the box feels a bit more softer, but it doesn't feel too soft that it's going to break down very quickly. So it just feels soft enough, as you can see, it's got a bit of a squish. Now, um, 2007 Nova is based on 2007, but it does have, again, quite a, um, a softer box with a different glue. So maybe, you know, if, if you're feeling that you like 2007, but you're not very keen on how hard the box feels to you, there is the option of going to the Nova, Nova um, 2007, or maybe even you could try Miracle or Dream Point. You know, there are so many options, and I can guarantee that if you have the right fitter, um, and you've got the option to choose um, and try on so many different models, you're going to find the right model for you. Now, I've been fitting Grishkos for quite a while now, and I haven't come across one dancer that I cannot fit in a Grishko shoe. And that's a lot of dancers. Even dancers that are a bit sceptical at first that think, oh, you know, I've had ones that have tried Grishko before, but have had a bad experience. So, you know, I go, go through the options, and eventually we, we find such a great shoe for them, they can't believe how different it felt to when they first tried on a Grishko. So never give up on a brand until you've actually met someone who knows a lot about the brand itself and can give you the variety to try on. And don't be afraid to ask if they can get you in stock um, different models, because, of course, it's quite difficult for some shops to stock many different Grishko styles, because they're not all going to you know, sell enough of each to make enough money. So there are other ones. You can go on the Grishko site and on my site as well. And there's, I basically, you know, you can find out about all the different models for you. There also is, of course, as I mentioned, the op opportunity to do a special order. Now they do take about up to six weeks. So you want to make sure you order in plenty of time. And if you work with your fitter, you can basically find out what's going to be the best for you. Because maybe you've had a had a Grishko shoe that you really liked, but there was a few little things that you want to tweak on it, then it's possible to do that. And then you can find, you know, the perfect combination. So don't be afraid to, you know, speak to your fitter and, and get the right um, information. And then, you know, from there, you'll soon see that Grishkos aren't as hard as everyone tells you. They're hard for a reason, and a good reason. <laughs> You know, you're going to get a really supportive point shoe, it's not going to die fast, and if it does, also I wanted to, oh, I must mention that basically I have come across some dancers that are in the wrong Grishko model for them, or perhaps they're even in the wrong width, length, or a combination of both. So as a result, their shoe has died quite fast. Um, it's rare to see, but it does happen. So do make sure that you go to someone who is, um, you know, experienced in fitting Grishkos and knows about all the different varieties. Um, if you have any questions about this video, maybe maybe you're trying to find the right Grishko model for you, then feel free to drop me an email. Um, my website is uh, www.straighttothepoint.net. You can find my Facebook at facebook.com forward slash to the point fitting. Um, I also offer point you fittings one to one and at your dance school um, all across the UK so you can drop me a mail and we can you know arrange something um, thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel and hopefully I'll put up another video soon thanks bye